Um, what you have before you tonight is a succession uh, document uh, asking that um, the ordinance, excuse me, asking that the ordinances for um, succession in the case of absences of uh, council leadership, mayoral leadership, and council leadership is out of town or unavailable. Uh, it amends the ordinance relating to uh, administrative committee and public works finance committee. Simply stated, the succession plan is as follows, and the ordinance follows this plan. If the mayor is out of town, our ordinances uh, now say that the council president acts as acting mayor in the mayor's absence. Uh, I won't use the term incapacity, we'll just use absence. If both the mayor and the council president are absent, then that duty falls to the council vice president. That's how our code currently reads. This uh, is in code. This is in our city ordinances at this time. Uh, there have been occasions with a mobile council, people who are out of town, um, that uh, and the mayor is out of town, then we may have situations where uh, if the mayor, council president, council vice president are out of town, everybody's wondering who's in charge. Uh, so rather than searching for, we looked at a bunch of different models, looking at uh, perhaps you could have the the council member with the senior status serve, but then that's yeah. that shifts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I think Everybody you still have a chance, Tom. Me anyway. um, oh, under this, under this proposed ordinance. Can we, can we just name Dan Karskallen because he never goes anywhere? You yeah. could. <laughs> you could. Uh, but that's not how this is proposed. How it's proposed is that the duty, if the mayor, council president, and council vice president are out of town, then that duty would fall to the council, excuse me, the chair of the administrative committee. Uh, just picking one committee that likely has more administrative oversight than the Public Works Finance Committee. Because it's become a tradition in the last four or five years that the council president serves typically as chair of one committee and the council vice president serves as chair of the other committee, then that doesn't really solve our problem. So the ordinance as written indicates that if the three uh, leadership positions are out of town, um, and for some reason, whether because that the uh, administrative committee chair is currently staffed or, or held by uh, council president or council vice president, then the duty would automatically fall to the vice chair of the administrative committee. Likewise, should all of those people be gone, then it would fall to the chair of the public works finance committee. Um, then, of course, if the chair of the Public Works Finance Committee is gone, it would fall to the vice chair of the Public Works Finance Committee. We have not sought to go any lower than that. Hopefully we will Stephanie not. Stephanie is disappointed. That's, she, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I could make an Alexander Haig joke now, but I won't. Um, so, very simply chair. stated, it's just a succession plan that uh, could cover uh, six people, but it might only cover four. So um, if you're prepared to do it, uh, we're prepared to make the changes to the ordinance. Thank you, Gary. Maybe. This came forward at my request um, because uh, there have been those occasions when we've had a conference or something like that, and, you know, mayor, council president, council vice president are all the way. And the question, it, you know, well, it's not hard when I'm the only one here. That's right, and you could do <laughs> proclamations for whatever at well, that I time. Plan. I know, but uh, but codifying that seems to make sense, so that there is some predictability in that outcome. And Tom, you had a question. No, right. I, I think it makes sense to to codify. I I was thinking, I didn't really understand why one committee was chosen over the other. A become comes before P. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That but, makes as well, much sense as anything. I mean, with enough seniority, there's a people are on either committee sure. at either. So it doesn't really matter so much. And I was just wondering what. Yeah, and I, maybe we could throw a caveat at the very end. If nothing else, if all these other people have been exhausted and we still have, you know. We arm wrestle for it. Well, I don't know. I, don't know. I was just thinking you could do a seniority thing and then it would be done. And then Stephanie's. Well, you know, if I may, and we're it would naturally fall to a member of the council. The question sure. would be, I mean, you could put something yeah. in there about seniority, but you're really getting to the point where we'll just put not even sure the federal government goes too many more no, no. degrees down. 
When but, we when we originally discussed this, Gary, we were talking about first chair of admin and then yes. chair of public works and then vice chair of admin and vice chair of public works. Yeah, well, no, actually, it, it since um, it's admin we initially admin. it's admin admin first, and I that was a change from when it, we originally talked about it. They, but if, then the committee discussed. Yeah, it. if I may, the drafting language would have been overly complex. In this situation. It's very straightforward how you move down the line, and in, in case of emergency, it eliminates confusion. Right, and the challenge with seniority is that we have typically will have three city council members elected the same at the same yes. time, and so conceivably we could have so several people. Have to people go back to the, the minutes same, to find out who got sworn seniority. in. Same right? Yeah. Let's see, Walter, you had a question. Gary, is there any downside to this? Not that I can tell. Okay, thank you, Madam Mayor. Yes, please. I would make a motion with, that we approve the ordinance on the suspension of the rules requiring three complete and separate readings and to be read by title and published by summary. A second. Okay. Now. Walter's motion and Tom's second. <coughs> Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll start the roll call vote with Tim. Aye. 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 And I. Okay, yeah, that motion carries. So that's two th uh, ordinance number 2013-11. An ordinance of the City of Moscow, Idaho, a municipal corporation of the State of Idaho, providing for the amendment of Moscow City Code, Title II, Chapter 2, providing that the chair or vice chair of the Moscow Administrative Committee and the chair or vice chair of the Moscow Public Works Finance Committee successively shall serve as mayor in the absence from the city or in capacity of the mayor, Moscow City Council President, Moscow City Council Vice President, providing that the provisions of this ordinance be deemed severable and providing for this ordinance to be in full force and effect from the date of its passage, approval, and publication according to law. Thank you.